important to create an efficient and welcoming study space, kids, that will keep you organized and motivated. I promise you'll love this as we get ready for the new school year, school rules. <laughs> Here, live in studio, is the founder and executive director, she's back, Ruth Rumack of Ruth Rumack's Learning Space. Ruth, it's so good to see you. It is so good to see you. It's been so long. Too long. Okay, we're gonna get kids excited okay. about school. Let's do it. First things first. We have to get everything set up. We've got to get ready. We've got to get motivated. And when you see visually that things are changing, then you start to change your attitude as well. So we want to start with a nice workspace. Okay. And we want to have a flat space to work. I mean, no more working at the bed. I know we've talked about this before, You know, before, I love right? myself working on the bed in a beanbag chair. I know. I told my nephew, big mistake. His eyes lit up. My sister's like, don't tell him about a beanbag chair. Exactly. Okay, so, so you're saying a, a hard surface. We need a flat surface. We need a good chair. So I brought a few alternatives because not everybody likes to sit in a hard chair. So this one is called a wobble chair, which is really good for fidgety kids who need to move a little bit. Oh. And this is really good. It's an ergonomic exercise ball, but it still has a back too. So okay. you can do all sorts of different things. It doesn't have to be a standard chair. Okay. The other thing we want to make sure is we've got some good task lighting so that yes. we can see what we're working on and just set the stage. So what do we need to do? We need to have all of the stuff on hand. And this is something I, I pulled from my kitchen cupboard, which is I like to organize things in sections or, or in item groups. Like a kit. Exactly. Okay. And everything is in the same place every time. It's a really simple label. I use a little painter's tape. It's my favorite. And then everything is in one box. So you need a pencil, you go to this box. You need something else, board marker, you go to another box. Okay. It's not a big junk drawer where you have to sift through. Okay. Another thing we want to do is keep things on hand. This is like a portable caddy. Yeah. So you can keep everything in little sections, and then if you've got different kids working in different rooms, you can move it to wherever they're going to be. Okay. Organized desk, organized mind. Creates good habits, good clean habits. Absolutely. Up next here. Okay, organization of the stuff. So we've got a desk, perhaps, and we've got papers coming back and forth. Definitely you want to have a binder. Sometimes I like to suggest that we color code binders and folders and things that all work together so okay. that a student knows which subject belongs to which color. Is this color a hole coding. punch? What is this? This is a hole punch that oh goes gosh. in your binder. It's so sleek. I know. You can fit it right. It's got three rings. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, gone the heavy cumbersome ones. Yep. Okay, that's cool. Now, I always keep my giant one around because, yeah. you know, when you're doing multiple sheets. But this is good for a binder so that when you get paper, which often happens, you get a photocopy paper that has no holes. That's it. Your child can put the holes in right away, and then it actually goes in the binder where it I'm lives. Like, do kids even use binders and paper anymore? I thought it was all digital. This is this is exciting to me. You know what? They still do. You they have still to. Do. Because not everything is done by electronic yeah. files. So there's yeah. still stuff you touch. Always keep some paper on hand, your paper. This is my favorite. I always keep uh, an electric pencil sharpener because it's much faster and it's much easier than saying, oh, I just have to sharpen my pencil. Stall, stall, stall. Exactly. Stall, stall, stall. Exactly. So here's another thing for keeping things at home. So I've labeled a little file desk. It sits on top of your desk. And so when your unit is done, you file your things Smart. in. And that way your binder doesn't get overloaded. I don't care for science. I don't care for math. My <laughs> thickest would be English. English. There you go. Okay. There you go. So then in terms of um, just keeping things organized again, magazine folders are really great for keeping the all subjects together. So maybe you have a math book. Yeah. You have a math workbook. Maybe you have a math, you know, group of papers. They all live in the same place. Okay. Last... Oh, of course, we want to keep a calendar of some kind, whether it's Old a school. Yeah, wall calendar could be something that is, you know, you, you write on, wipe off, um, or just a paper agenda. It's still, you know, regardless of whatever digital work we're doing, I agree. I like to keep things at hand. At a glance, it's there. You don't have to try and find exactly. it or where is my phone charged. It's so true. Exactly. And this, it's like, it's so reminiscent so <laughs> of home improvement. <laughs> hey Ruth, what are we using with this? This, What's is, going a little, on? this is a little privacy screen. Oh, I love Nobody that. Nobody sees me. I love it. I'm here busy studying, Mom. I'm not eating a bowl of chips. No, not at all. <laughs> okay, what's this for? So it's a little privacy. So you can, it's white right now, which is just blank. But you could put little reminders like, you know, check your spelling, check your spacing, check your, you know, just things that a child might need. But it also creates a visual um, privacy or visual focus. <gasps> so so that... say your kids, your desk area is the breakfast bar mm -hmm. or a kitchen table. Right. You're saying if you have, you know, two or three kids or you don't want them distracted, yes. you put this as their own little nook. Exactly. We used to do that with cereal boxes. See? 
Yes. And this is like you can actually go and buy this in the store and it is already for you. You don't have to eat any cereal. Or the kids could decorate it so it feels like their little personal space. Well, this is what I like to do. We let our students choose whatever they want to put on there. If it's a little reminder, we call it an anchor chart. So it's little reminders that they use during their schoolwork. Um, and then it also becomes their private space mm -hmm. so that they don't get distracted by each other or they don't distract others. And mom and dad, you can have one too and say mommy's in her private <laughs> space room. She needs a timeout and Zen, I'm serious. Everybody needs a little private space. Totally agree, totally agree. Roo Roo, the educational guru. I had to say it. Yeah, I you love have it. one more? What is I, it? Well, some noise canceling headphones. Oh, yes. You know what? Let's say you're in a busy space in the kitchen, mom's making dinner, dad's making dinner, there is other work going on. Just put these on and it gives that child just a little bit more privacy, a little bit more focus. Can I take this home for my husband? I think he'll appreciate this <laughs> after putting up with me. Oh, these really do work. They're good, aren't they? Sorry? What? What? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do we get more information online? <laughs> you can always find us at www.ruthrumac.com. You're awesome. It's so good to see you.